You aren't born with all of the body cells that you'll ever need. New cells are essential for growth. Today, we're going to look at how the body generates these through the process of mitosis. Download your free study along workbook for this video and others in the cell biology topic. Just visit emmaditici.com for your free copy. To understand the process of mitosis, we first need to understand the nucleus a little bit better. So let's look inside an adult body cell. The nucleus is this little black blob, and if we zoom inside it, we can see it's made up of these structures called chromosomes. There are 23 pairs of chromosomes in an adult body cell, or 46 in total. If we zoom inside a chromosome, we can see that it's actually made up of DNA. This is a molecule of DNA right here. DNA codes for genes. You're going to learn a lot more about this in the inheritance topic in paper 2, but this is all that you need to know for paper 1. Now that you understand that the nucleus contains chromosomes, we can look at mitosis and the cell cycle. The cell cycle is split into three parts, stage 1, stage 2 and stage 3. We're going to look at each stage in turn to understand how they work together to produce new cells. Let's start with stage 1. You can see from the pie chart that stage 1 is the longest of the three stages. In preparation for cell division, it has a lot to do. First of all, the cell will grow, gaining mass. Secondly, it will also increase the number of subcellular structures, such as ribosomes and mitochondria, amongst others. Really importantly is then that the DNA replicates. By doing this, it forms two copies of each chromosome. In a human body cell, this would mean that by the end of stage one, the cell contains 92 chromosomes instead of 46. We can see this here, that there are two copies of each chromosome. Stage two is mitosis. In mitosis, one set of chromosomes is pulled to each end of the cell. You can see this happening in the diagram above, with half of the chromosomes having gone to the top of the cell and half of the chromosomes having gone to the bottom of the cell. As well as this, the nucleus will also need to divide in two, splitting the chromosomes in half. You can see this here, that the nucleus is starting to pinch in and that will completely split off. And finally, in stage three, the cytoplasm and cell membranes divide to form two identical cells. These cells are genetically identical to each other and also to the parent cell, which was the initial body cell. Just a quick note to mention that if you take A-level biology, you'll learn about mitosis in a lot more detail. If you've come across this already, then remember that you don't need this level of detail at GCSE, you just need what I've already covered. You're probably wondering what the importance of mitosis and the cell cycle actually is. Why do we need new cells? Well, there are three main reasons. The first is development. When you're first conceived, you're just a single cell. You're going to need to make a lot of new cells for you to develop all the way from being an embryo to an actual little baby. Secondly, during childhood and puberty, you need the ability to grow and therefore you need to be able to make new cells. And finally, sometimes we do need to repair our cells. Imagine you got a graze and you're going to lose some of your skin. Your body can therefore make new skin cells through mitosis to repair the damage. As you can see, it's a really important process. Okay, now it's time for some quick questions. Pause the video and give them a go, and then press play when you're ready to go through the answers. Ready? Number one, what does the nucleus contain? The nucleus contains chromosomes, which are molecules of DNA. Two, the diagram below shows an adult body cell undergoing cell division. Complete the diagram by filling in the missing chromosomes. So let's take a look at what we've been given. At the end, we've got a daughter cell. And hopefully you remember that daughter cells are identical to the parent cell or the initial body cell, as well as each other. So if this daughter cell has four chromosomes, so should the other one, and so should the adult body cell. Now we just need to work out what the last cell is missing. 
Remember that during cell division, the chromosome number doubles. So if the adult body cell had four, that means that we need to have double the amount, which is eight. You can write the numbers out beside the cells if it helps you keep track. And just to recap, the daughter cells always have the same number of chromosomes as the adult body cell. Last one, number three, explain the importance of mitosis in the body. Mitosis is important for the growth, repair, and development of the body. How did you do? In the next video, we're learning about something really cool. It's stem cells. Click there to watch, and don't forget to subscribe for more GCSE science help. Thanks and bye.